This poem is called Tiptoe Through the Toilet. Two Lips. You lose yourself, lost to world, hung on nothing, where home in my heart is a hollow of your her hand. Hear me in shouts of wind that love is heaven sent, heaven returned, where child, children hide behind a smiling, waiting face. Heels of hers were the height of silence as I took it all in, towering lakes on a pillar of alabaster skin. I flung earth to heaven, a thing of beauty sky grown. I sealed the wind and reaped the storm under a harvest moon till snow melts, losing its cool as air thaws her breath. A wild cherry explosion meeting blood red, orange lips, having a slice of life as we kiss, make, making darkness in me come to light. The end. This poem is called Gates of Irony. Magnet of I love you cools on refrigerator door as freeze pop with frozen soda drips some more with dog licks all over linoleum floor. I am plugging the appliance on the countertop, toasting some bean with juiced up pulpy tropical orange. And I look at a pitcher of water pour on an urban bloom made in this room. And a wall showcases a butcher's row of cleavers through paring knife, making a point of being sharp. A dog jumps to it, wanting to get out and about city. And I look down to see people always passing the tarmac full concrete islands with a sign of stop and stays in the, in the crosswalk. And a desert of grocery shops give thirst to dry mouths hungry for food. The sun beats down, brown, browning grass roots on both sides of the fence. And the woofers blare as canine alpha scare reacts with feral fear where they stood out in a sitting chain link to fence promoting out of reach programs. And the inflammatory speech fuel the fire in our guts. And the vegetable is not junk food, it's food to die for. We weeded out earth for a handful of city gardens, gladly with hefty glad bags full of trash. And the cast off tires of sunburnt tulip rub some the wrong way, especially those not pitching in. And the streetlights shadow one returning to block of white walled community gates of an upscare neighborhood. Our slumming is done for today. The end. This one's called The Mouth of Babes. He's keeping score, trying to beat me at my own game. And a baby fattened with baby fat is no more when I jiggle in all the right places that you adore. I'm a big girl now with a piggyback back pack toting a wardrobe full of fat female torso or more so as a tease when you size me up. Child, think about this. Now it's time to hit the road, Jack. No more stops while I vacation. Greyhounds, reclining seats take me back. And a Saturday day back of the bus was a void, avoiding last school days of yell tangle air with singing words buzzing past my beehive hair. And a gentle arm collapsed from holding one to golden way after scolding them this day. They fight with all their might to do what's wrong, not right. Pain. As easy to see as they cry in our eyes. These backseat drivers map out territory, forming clicks one by one, including all except the empty child nursing a thumb. A wetted white is rayon drawn and crayon done by colored kid's finger painting themselves in a corner. And a gangs of girl put away cuteness when heading for the mall instead of the study hall, texting call he's a cute T on a whim. Some aspire to day's woman looking at pleased at oneself, all grown up in the dress up rated extra X. Youngins do me proud. The um
This poem is called Cinderella's Stepbrother. My ugliness is apparent. Cloak to sky blue across my back when with wind after rain chasing wet dreams. Drop stop nothing is cold when dawn slowly turns to face me. The locusts take leave on trees, twig, twig, and branches that come down to earth as a shadow unbend clay thrown wall. I'm the same but different when growing up in the background as a family tree seedling weed. God must be far from us, a bunch of dirt bags for kin, swap wallowing in sin. And a silken spider spins velvet webs on a dandelion having a field day alongside a crabby grass going door to my door. And a foot long nails make a daunting pedicure, but mirror is cracked so I cannot see what I'm looking at. And a paint peels face where giant rollers stay in here, stay in place. Naturally, I have a place in the sun, being comfortable in my own skin's natural tanning salon. My beauty rest has ended. I look pretty now, and that dewfall has cooled my absolute hair a little long here and there, where feet arches under a rainbow of shoes. The end. This poem is called Diary of an Unborn Child. To say mama, I put on hold never growing old. It was honeymoon time at Niagara Falls and Dada didn't need Viagra uprising. She was getting fresh, bathing in lilac body wash when I lived for the moment, the biggest, littlest life conceived. And the doorbell rang, rung, True, as we put a face on day, a new look at life in a building scraping sky away. Hello, there is ignored when motherhood shies from greeting wishing well. Fights between grown-ups become few, but the silence is unbearable until she sings and rubs her tummy. Me to you. And Dada picks sides in a house divided where he escaped, staring by stars driving at a price for a man from Mars. I wanted to speak up, cry out in anger, but I kicked in danger. And needles is hard on the brain, making me sluggish to pain from skin graffiti. I'm real, this I say in a baby way. I breathe differently and our hearts beat as one while fingers and toes I count on because body shape is less than human. And Mama and Dada think of me, calling me it, until ultrasound gave me a name. She didn't say why. Today, Mama killed me. The end. This poem is called Snowpath. Ice piled up on window, rubbed away, and the sun tasting icicles drips on sips today. It is past May, but bitter cold will not relinquish its hold on a bouquet of snowflakes frozen outside. With a kiss, the lips seal spring of winter wet green bliss when parting tree bow red bowed heavy cardinal. Like a greeting card greeting you, Jay laugh out loud and the blue wing fowl encouraging smile. Evermore do, do snow haunt your grave frolic, as snow angel held babe colic, cry to sky, squalls whimpering to die, as raven fly. The end. This one called Hurricane Anonymous. All I have left are the clothes on my back, from a bag and a soaking wet from April showers, coastal rain, where lazy, hazy day, a Manu May, bloom summer, getting a name. Move away from the window. The hurricane high winds blows, flying maple across porch in a leaf spin, gathering trunk that branch out to tree, housing a home. Our car, they put, 
so mom will be packing while the getting is good, and her purse holds a mountain of junk, so slamming door with the engine roar is not a cinch, and a down power line stop us while sizzling and hissy snaky wave sparked yell, are you all right, babe, some more. Pop and I sandbagged and barricaded concrete blocks under a trash trailer, hoarding hordes of apple shaken to its core, where I kick and squished them around some more. Move away from the door. And a hurricane high wind blows candle out to sea as the rescue copter spins, making waves under me. And my flight to roof was harrowing enough as a high water float float on, move away from the state. And the hurricane high winds blows, and all I have left are the clothes on my back. The end. This one is called Hunger. America, America, land of plenty and so much more where everything is so next year with lookalike people living well, no matter how poor. There are so many blind to our ways, but in the end, there be darkness because I fail to see the light, even the rescue may be my plight. And a dust bowl is empty where a dreamy child of mine grabs a handful of air, believing he's eating here. We came together a refugee for pulling people for food and water as the day gets caught up after fall before night. And I crawl to walks of life before stumbling upon leaders following others, preaching good words of calm. And we watch the stars cradle us, celebs twinkling while, my, while night comes to those alone, soothing with a lullaby wind song. And the big dipper, dipper became fountain of youth during day for those too weak to play. I hate those birds, ravens of a feather flocking sky, feasting an eye, looking at, lacking a soul. We lay by the roadside in desert, deserting sands, unwelcome and forgotten. But I rose up, blossoming cactus flower, having a good cry, feeding on your sympathy. And This one is called Social Work. Are you bored to death, sweetie? My life without me is just too real with time to kill behind a desk. And during lunch break, I bother to run upstairs, taking flights that look upward to nowhere. Then the first floor reminds one of where they have been, the climb to get there, the hard work, the ass kissing. Everybody's saying you're doing just great. Then I see mirror, mirror on the glass ceiling in the bathroom, the boss staring down at me when I'm appealing. Until next week, string of girls learn the ropes of having hope of pearls lace in their neck within the boss's grip, rip from them. Maybe they will be part of the Me Too mo movement. When work is a shit. The end. This one is called Wedding Sucks. Just fl married flies by you, hung in midair blip for mother in law. The black tie checks in, and he is something carrying her from the car. They were down at the count of three. Lifts one out of town or to another. Better keep the towels in our name and strip bed before red drape fall together, ushering velvet drag, making a door entrance for those newlyweds 24 7 love. Would you like a drink while I burn the date lines with sash, sash walk with rum by rum? And everybody did not hold their peace. The pop eyes are corked. Ring forehead hitting the bottle of guard or champagne. The saints be praised. I got my hands dirty, wiping your whipped cream face of wedding cake. And being kinky 
Fell in hair, reaches floor, brushed by shoulder, crossing over leather strapped in filigree lace, ironed down under, wrinkled in wonder. And a key to happiness turns on your embrace, locking love forever from a chastity belt in place. And the sink is not catching the shaven leg and washes up there, giving a bathroom excuse when running out of toilet paper. And would you wash my back and wipe off the mere written kisses adoring your face? And the fans blow off the rubber dub walk in tub covering the bubble on me. And the sweet and sour honeymoon pictures cause quite a stir for us old pretenders having second thoughts about anniversary to be. And would you look at the time pulling our rickety rocket rocked chair and a balls of knitting hair grace your neck, inviting Tabby's paw while I curl up beside you. The end. Okay, this poem is called 10 o'clock a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The tax man cometh, and each spring he is alone, tending a sum of numbers like a dog with a bone. The patient is sitting in his waiting room, poking fun at twiddling thumbs and cramped legs till nerves come undone. Chips and snack bar repel the munchies, while hard-earned dollars fill a styrofoam cup too full. Anyone, anywhere but here, I wish to roam. And reality hits me in TV shows that are not funny at all. But it is better than staring at the wall. Sitting on the floor, magazines are floored, stacked high to ceiling and cubbyhole by the board. And I watch ticks to ticks in my eye and talks talk of leaving this place as lucky people come and go with a large envelope holding precious cargo. Doors close, and next year I march to this office a month early before that dreaded deadline tweaked my nose. The end. This one is called, How Will It End? Looking through the liquor glass, I can see not blind anymore to pain that you inflicted or contradict on me. The heartache is hidden from me while I have lust over love's boom or bust. You parade in pajamas before bed, firecracker sizzling hot with baton trolling band during March of storms. It is a boon when taken seriously, not squandered, sorted, or hoarded, locked away in a stuffed suitcase and open only to celebrate the best of times. If it were not for anger, lingering happiness would be a danger for us. The end. This one is called Flower a Rose. Come away with me and see that you can be. You want to stay to everyone's dismay. So I ask, why can't you fly away? Another day I go home. and I have taken steps past the door of houses where treetops soar deep blue. And a hard apple is eaten to the core. Enjoyed some more. Like happiness, that is taboo when I'm around you. In your mind, I can be anything. Sweet nothings is the allure. A cure for bad feelings, I am sure. The end. This one is called Party of One. To the stars, they blew bubbles and balloons where I am strung out on Mardi Gras beads. I wonder why sky, why blues in the sky are so jazzy, trombone and sax going solo, flying high. And a brassy blonde danced to heavy metal, headphone oblivious to cymbal clap while we're wrapped in confetti. And a siren blows between puff of cigar, capturing cops in fire engine red as the flaming smokes leave white hot lips robbing them of their senses. All slickered up 
A rainy day, rainy day wetsuit sticks to me, and I breathe perfectly as tassels spin on my breast. And a macabre masks are in the mood for a party over here. The end. This one is called Sleeper. Our day will come with romancing lips kiss, missing in the dark when we hate each other. And a 9-11 phone call rang of hello, being a bit mellow after deciding who lives or dies, dialing M for murder. Hankel slides in shoes as worn oversized shirt is torn, cuff linked to a long manacle of hands on bedposts. Where while a tongue tied fight for words. And a tortured sky, black and blue, rain, how wind, pain so great that the house creaks and moves now and then, where where a mattress springs flowers and roses are red, spread so fragrant around your head. And the snoring catches Z's unaware of me, please. The end. This poem is called Court Costs. A verdict is signed before breaking news seal public eye from deliverance of lie. And a shared evidence is not issued, writing me off to a panel of criticism as a bailiff shoves me that away from a jury rigged microphone. And the penal code of silence is enforced as the stranglehold of muffled screams starts, starts terminal inside bus and our lineup takes backseat to a vengeful driver waging war with an old hand of hate he wasn't putting up with crap when someone like us fingered him any day yeah i worry as i was getting fixes stashed by my sticky cocaine licked fingers and are you prepared for ex execution is a rhetorical question since surveillance records my depression with conflict of human interests. I goofed off through the years instead of making a defensive case. They said my alibi was a pack of lies without disguise. And my fists had met the wall, being angry that crime bosses did not like my show and tell. And murder by the numbers was a waste of time, especially when they connected the dots to me. And the feds also had a hand in everything, crawling up our ass as I speak, making me feel like a real dummy. We all say we're innocent, don't we? The end. This poem is called My Dress is black and proud. The black peacock fans Victorian eggs and a crew eyes jewel iridescent before sunset sits among gloom in this room. A jaw drops so sharp it cuts into my shoulder blade, making my eyes less bolder to be acquainted with you. And your leathery hands are full of mirth when it comes to my worth, where marriage bed is filled to the brim with entangled leg that mock prim, but property of sinister Spencer's rage of embroidery. Day arrives, and I survive this grunting that makes hens grin cackle. And a crushed spirit of downtrodden grape strangled on the vine, licked lately by my lips, mine, the end. And... This last poem is called, Take Note of Lyrics. Been there, done that, plagued my thoughts. And the petal storm was a sight, and I knew what you did last night. Butterflies killing me softly in morning light. Swoon with delight. The birds sing as my day is numbered in the songbook. Playing piano as show of hands may move keys to weed out the ugliness of life at knees. When I pray for a happy day. You got a smile so noble. Everything that's good comes shining through 
for a yelling scream where chinks in armor become heavy metal, rusty, and wet guitar stringing them on. And a voice rises to the free for all, body slamming when dancers caught in the glitter of being bad choke on that all that confetti. The end.